more frames the slower and the less frames the faster so I'm gonna just freaking spam this with a bunch of frames so it can go slow like a snail yeah like that slow so um there you go that's that's something else yeah that's good enough that's slow enough uh, I'd zoom in okay now we're gonna add a stage a stage usually goes above the background layer obviously we're gonna use an um a, I, I call it a stage I don't know what you guys call it I think you guys call it tiles whatever it's what usually it's pretty it's what the character is going to walk on basically or run on whatever what happened to my sonic oh okay I'm gonna use them uh, go to fireworks open the sheet with the tile whatever I'm gonna use it this tile I know it's not gonna match it doesn't matter it's just for this tutorial you can get one of you that matches if you want you can do whatever whatever the hell you want I don't care go away please go away thank you um we're gonna paste it in paste as usual and that's pretty big that's bigger than I thought it would be well uh, well anyway you can um, yeah you're gonna of course you want to make it longer so you're gonna copy and paste or drag out and paste in place press ok to this move with the arrow keys that's what I do is a way better um, ugh, I hate doing this seriously okay Let's add one more for the heck of it. Oh jeez. There you go. Oh yeah, by the way, you press shift to make it um move across way faster. You hold shift and you and use the arrow key and move it with the arrow keys and it'll go way faster. Same that and shift also helps keep its proper propor proportions when you're resizing. So you wanna make it fatter or taller you it'll stay the same just overall bigger when you resize like I'll just show an example when you resize you might accidentally end up making it too fat or too long than it should be hold on and if you hold shift while you do it it stays properly the same size and same and yeah so that's another advice I'd give you There's a lot of things I'm forgetting right now shut sorry about that now let's convert the stage again into a symbol select everything press F a convert to symbol um, stage um, for uh, as for blurring on the stage if it's small I don't think it's gonna be that much of a big deal but I still recommend you do it on fireworks or on an external program it looks better anyway but I'm gonna keep it with no blurs for now graphic as uh, tiles let's just call it tiles it'll it'll if that's what you call it let's move this down so when you export it'll look proper uh, yeah it's not gonna show zoom in well oh yeah it's only in one frame I forgot okay so we're gonna do the same thing we did with the background except we're gonna do it with the stage of course we're gonna take a bunch of frames take 30 35 that's that's good I don't know remember less frames faster more frames slower we want oh yeah you can move um, cancel seeing the BG uh, on the stage by just pressing this it'll help you edit better so let's move all this all the way there uh, right there I know it's not perfect now let's see how that looks okay let's see how that looks when you export yeah look well oh yeah by the way to loop to continue looping looping this I'll just show you this first okay look it's pretty nice if you zoom in and uh, let her let her repeat there it's moving with two there you want to continue looping it you simply just um, select all the frames to the tween the motion you copy the frames paste it right next to it and press ok and you just keep on doing that until you're until you're until you're um, satisfied Sorry, this is so slow because of the camera. I'll paste again. You can also drag the last keyframe like that and just make it longer. Okay. Now, when you export, 
that's a zoom in you look better look it's pretty smexy there you made the background and the stage move together congratulations sorry it's laggy again because of the um the um camera not me so yeah yeah that's it for moving yeah, let me try to remember if there's anything else I'm gonna pause it and think Okay, I, st I thought of stuff to cover, because I did leave also some stuff. Okay, for the background, of course, you know, you're going to be wondering, what the hell's up with this gap right here? That's because the, be the background is not big enough. Well, there is something you could do. Um, you can make it a little bigger, not overdoing it, of course, before you rape your, your um, computer. You can make it a little bigger. Don't do things like make it so it exactly matches the stage. Like, you, for example, you take this entire uh, entire thing, you put the same properties as you would for the uh, as the stage size, and it's just gonna make it all nasty and, and whatever. So, if you wanna make it bigger and to cover the entire thing. You just make it hold shift, of course, to make it to give the proportion um um good instead of making it fat or wide. I mean, or um tall. And you uh, just, yeah, there you go. Don't overdo it, of course. Just make sure it covers everything. If you want more, uh, more um, of the sky or something, you would um, break it apart, or yeah, you break it apart. Select the sky part, and you just copy and paste above, um, continuing, um, and you keep doing that. Sorry, um, I was, I just, I was eating a bit ago. Um, anyway, you keep going up until you're satisfied with copying and pasting and stuff. Like, just like you would for the side. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Oh, um, there's that, and also the the quality. Uh, notice how crappy, uh, this kind of looks a bit, this is like, um, normal standard quality. Here's something that you could do to make everything look better. Um... Mind you, do not do this for anything else besides backgrounds. Because you, it's pointless to do it for anything else anyway. And it's kind of going to rape your computer. Yeah, I know Flash is a little... It's a little fag for um, for memory and stuff like that. But you got to watch out for these things. So look for the, um, the backgrounds um, um, bitmap on the, in the library. Which will be this one. You right click it. You go to properties. And this is going to come up. You click on allow smoothing only if the background is not huge. Remember, if the background isn't huge, you can do this. Then make sure this, this might say um 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 the JPEG um compression. Change that to lossless PNG slash GIF or GIF whatever. And if and if um the background is not too big, you can allow smoothing and look look at the difference before. I mean, um, after smoothing, and then you unclick, and then look at it now. Not so sexy. And now it's kind of sexy. And now it's not so sexy. You get the point. It looks better. So there's that. Remember not, not to overdo this or do this on big things. It's going to make it lag a lot and the um, file size increase. And that's it. All right. I'm sure that's it. Yep, that's it. And one more thing. Uh, if you want to put Sonic on it or whoever to run on it, just make a new layer. Um, click right here to make a new layer. Right, right here. New layer. Drag it to the top. Name it if you want. If you don't want, if you don't want to, you don't have to. And then just go to the library and grab the sonic symbol or whatever drag it press ok uh... flip this dude real quick transform flip horizontal flip them align them properly with the stage with the floor tile whatever because right now it looks like he's actually floating and 
and uh, that's it. Uh, don't mind that. It's just because I didn't continue it. I deleted all the other frames. But you get the point. Just put them on there, and that's it.